Now the second assumption that we'll talk about is the separate entity assumption. And it basically assumes the entities or the businesses activities are separate from the activities of the owners. So to illustrate this, let's say that you're starting a business or let's say you start a business and uh, your business starts being successful, starts making profits, starts generating a lot of cash. And instead of keeping that cash in the business or reinvesting it into the business, you decide to take that cash out of the business onto your personal side. And you decide to buy some assets on your personal side. Maybe you want to buy your parents some kind of car or some kind of house, or you want to buy yourself a house. Let's say that, yeah, you're buying some real estate for yourself. Let's say you're buying real estate and then you're going to rent it out, but it's going to be on your personal side, right? It has nothing to do with the business. <clears throat> and now let's say there's external users here, whether they are investors or creditors. Let's say that there's an investor that's thinking about investing in the business, in your business, or uh, just buying your business outright. You cannot, when you're showing them the financial information for your business, you cannot mix your personal stuff. You can't bring in like your personal real estate here and say like, yeah, my business has this profit, this cash, this real estate here. They have to be separated. So you'd be only showing this part here. This part is separate and can't be mixed in with your business. Now this transaction here, when you take cash out of the business, that does have to be disclosed in the uh, financial statements. And we're actually going to go over examples where that happens. The most common way that this is going to happen is through something called a dividend. And that's actually going to be on one of the financial statements on the statement of retained earnings. And then also if you're going the other way. So if you're investing cash into the business, that has to be shown as well in the uh, financial statements. That's going to be called capital that you're going to invest in. That's going to go onto the equity portion of the balance sheet. But again, we'll go into those details. So these transactions have to be shown and that's actually part of that separate entity assumption is that transaction between these two entities here, the business and the personal that are happening. Those have to be shown on the businesses financial statements, but you can't be taking stuff on your personal side and then mixing it in with your business.